Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, today my video is about animals in heaven. So what I've got here is, let me just take out my piece of paper, my book, Five Years in Heaven, The Teachings of Heaven. As you can see how thick it is, I'm going into page 72 where I start talking about the animals and people that I saw in heaven. So today I'm going to do an excerpt about animals and our loved pets that we've lost over the years. Um, I've had a lot of um, messages, texts and emails over the last week where people say, oh my gosh, I've just lost my animal. Will I see them again? The answer is if they go to heaven, yes, you will. Because remember, we've always got that option where we stay as a ghost. Even animals can stay as ghosts. I saw some really cool footage of a lady going down to her horse paddocks. She was feeding her living horse and the one that died about two months earlier was there running around in the field as well. What an amazing piece of footage that is out there. So animals can stay as ghosts, okay? So Today, I'm only talking about the ones who go to heaven, the spirits, not ghosts, okay? So on page 72, the people and animals. I start talking about the people that I saw there, first of all. Um, how nobody had injuries. I didn't see anyone with broken legs, broken arms, crutches, wheelchairs, even limps. So how cool is that? If we, all our physical ailments and injuries, we don't have them when we go to heaven. So as I proceed over to page 74. Um, so I'm going 74. I was also very aware that within each form that we take, whether it be humanistic, animalistic, or in the form of other objects, there is no need to for, for finding someone like a loved one that had died before us. Let me explain this more in detail. On earth, we lose people who we love. On earth, we have this yearning for them after they have died. In this place, which I called heaven, there is no yearning, there is no searching for them for a, a reunion or to greet them again. For in this place, everyone and everything is one. We are so connected to everything that you cannot grief or yearn for something that is right there within you. Now, I want to elaborate. Everything was within me. I had the whole universe inside of me. It was within me. When I was there, I was connected to the mountains, to the streams, to the buildings, to the people, to the blades of glass, grass, I should say, glass, grass, grass. I was connected to even the music, even though there was no speakers from which this music came. Everything is one. So it doesn't matter if you lost a pet 15, 20 years ago, because time does not exist. As soon as we're in heaven, it is the present, it is the future, and it's also the past, all rolled up into now, all rolled up into that oneness of connection, okay? So our animals, will they recognize us when we go back to heaven? Of course, they're going to recognize us. But you've got to remember here, guys, animals, just like us, have many, many soul. I'm um, sorry, lives, because we're a soul. Animals have a soul like we do. So when we go back to home, heaven, whatever you want to call it, the source, the universe, whatever, when we go back there, we're now in our solistic alignment. So we are a multitude 
or made up of all our lives that we've been through. Now remember, there's no time. Ha ha ha. So the lives that we've been through could also be future lives. So even though we've had a cat or a bird or a budgerigar or whatever you want to call it or a dog, if you had a pet crocodile, whatever it is that you've loved and it died, please know that animal also has a soul. It could be the king of England. It could have been a pauper built or a slave building the pyramids. That soul may have been Cousteau going down and filming all the underwater worlds back in the 70s. Okay? So we don't know who or what our soul is until we go back to heaven. So when I was walking around concentrating on people, okay, because you've got to remember here, concentrating is when I was connecting to one specific person or thing, okay? And when I concentrated on just one thing, I became that one thing. I'll call, okay, I'll say, I want to go something inanimate like a tree. <laughs> Let's go a tree. So when I was thinking about a tree, one specific tree, I became that tree. And then I could remember and see all the lives that tree had ever had on earth. This is going to blow a few people away because trees, do they have a consciousness? Absolutely. Look at all the research they're now doing with plant life. Some plants grow better to rock and roll music than classical music. How would that ever happen unless that actual plant had a consciousness? Just because it doesn't have eyes, mouth or nose like we do, it still senses. It's still aware, which is our conscious awareness. Okay, so plants as well as animals. If we cut down a tree... Oh, let's go there. If I cut down a tree and kill it, is that then murder? Because once we realize that every single living thing has a consciousness, you won't want to cut down anything ever again. I struggle now killing flies, cockroaches, cane toads and other pesty little insects I have to catch and release them I walk them down my street I've got a park not far from me so I walk them down there and say fly be free live here not at my house anymore thank you for letting me have you for a while but see you later <laughs> at least I'm letting them have some dignity in their release okay I can't kill anything unless I do a huge prayer. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean that. Okay? Because I know the consequences of when we go to heaven. So, let me just reiterate here. If you've lost an animal, your beautiful, fluffy fluff, whatever his or her name was, please know that you will be joined back to this animal because as soon as you go to heaven, you're constant, um, you're already connected back to that oneness. So there's no reason to find them because they're already here within. Same with loved ones who have died. Partners, children, parents, other relatives, best friends. We don't have to go out searching for them. Because as soon as we're in heaven and we think about them, we are already part of them. And it's all within us. Everything in heaven is within because we are part of that magnificent, euphoric energy. Okay? So I hope that's helped you all today. Okay? I hope that's answered your question. Animals in heaven, do we see our departed pets? Of course we do. Do we see our departed loved ones? Of course we do. Okay, 
It's only that here we trust so much on our eyes. So as soon as we close our eyes and we take away sight as a sense and we start feeling with our energy, that is when we can connect with them. And that is when they can come back through to us and give us those messages. Okay? So please know, guys, I do love getting my emails. My email is below if you want to talk to me privately. If you've got a question that you want me to answer, please email me and ask me what it is. Okay? Yeah. If you've got any ideas on videos that you want me to do, please contact me. Okay? I am more than happy to help as much as I can. Okay? Um, if you do like my videos and you want to shout me a coffee as a thank you, the link's below where you can shout me a coffee. <laughs> okay like the old tip jar um it's all good guys you know i just try to do my best um offer these videos for free because there's no charge to you at this point right um unless youtube youtube changes it where you need to subscribe hopefully not pay a subscription but i hope that's never on the cards because i like doing my videos for free okay i like helping as many people as i can so if you do have questions please send them over to me Okay, and on that note, I'm going, so I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.